Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's talk careers with Sarah. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that's probably is specifically for nurses. It is career change for nurses. There are plenty of careers for nurses who want to stay as a nurse, who want to get out of their degree as much as possible in order for them uh, not to lose the degree and not to lose the money that they are actually making. So there are careers that are not exhausting, not intimidating, not overwhelming, and not stressful. So far, I'm going to give you five, but there are many. So let's dive into this. The number one I would suggest is to be a case manager. What does a case manager do? I explain in details in my podcast, whatever I'm going to share now. This is just a short video for you just to get an idea as quickly as possible. But in my podcast, which is linked in the description, will explain in much details. A case manager is organizing discharge planning for the patient. Sometimes that includes getting them a bus pass. Sometimes it means ensuring they are going to a facility that is appropriate for their level of care. Also working with the patient to verify their follow-up care is arranged so that continually of ca- continuity of care does not go astray once they are discharged. This includes doctor's appointments, visit from home health nurses, and rehabilitation. I believe this is something that you can do if you have the, the ability of doing some administrative work. Speaking to families and patients on difficult topics such as end-of-life care, for example, if I had a family who was hesitant about switching to patient to DNR status, I would have a case manager speak to them, right? So this is what is case manager does. So communicating with health insurance companies to coordinate care and determine if patients' health care needs will be met with their current plan of coverage and ensuring that patients' religious, psychosocial, and social needs are met. This could include coordinating a religious tradition evaluation or counseling. Now that you know what is the case manager supposed to do, Now, I want you to also understand that if this is actually for you, if this, if you are a nurse who is an effective communicator or multitasker and interested in seeing the many sides of patient care would make a good case manager, or if you still want to be working on a specific unit, but not necessarily in the bedside nurse role, this may be a great option for you. The next thing I would want to go through is you can be a public health nurse. What is the duties? Let's dive into it. Working directly in the community to deliver screening services, education on preventative care and health management, identifying risks within specific population and ensuring those needs are met, advocating for the community at the local, state, and federal level to bring more resources to understand populations and ensuring the community is aware of resources that could ultimately benefit their health and well-being. This could include free health fairs and yearly physical within their community. And working at the grassroots level at schools, senior centers, and homes to advocate for healthy living at all stages of life. So that is a public health nurse, which is mainly for the community. Now, let's see. If you have these attributes, you could be a public health nurse. A great public health nurse has heart for the community, a passion for education, is comfortable working with diverse population, and is able to be resourceful. This is something for you if you would like to have a career change into public health nurse. Number three, research nurse. Research nurse is helping to recruit patients for trials and leading them through what a trial may entail, ensuring they are informed on the duration, timeline, medication that may be used and other protocols, following the participants throughout the trial, monitoring that their involvement is in adherence to standards for the trial, 
collecting clinical data in accordance with federal regulations and institutional review board policies. Everything must be documented at length to protect those involved in the study. Presenting trial findings and potentially writing about the results. Utilizing clinical skills such as administering medications, venipuncture, and review the lab results. Before I continue, I want also to say that if you stay till the end of this video, I'm going to let you know how much you can get paid for all of these jobs that I mentioned right now. If you want to be a, a research nurse, you might look into being a research nurse if you enjoy detail-oriented work, are organized, thrive in leadership role, and can take care and can take initiative in high pressure situation. Number four, forensic nurse. Let me know if you are interested in being a forensic nurse. A forensic nurse is meticulously examining the patient from head to toe while ensuring a safe and confidential environment, collect evidence by taking photographs, obtaining body fluids, gathering clothing, and any other items that may be needed, administer medications if needed for suspected sexually transmitted infections and pregnancy, provide courtroom testimony and consultations in response to findings such as injuries and care given. Uh, in order to be a forensic nurse, you need to obtain a certification that's called Sexual Assault Nurse Examiner, which includes 40 hours of training, that covers how to take photographs, how to document stuff. And this is exactly something that pays very well. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you looked into it or never heard of it, but would like to try it out. And number five, the last one is aesthetic nurse. Aesthetic nurse is performing injecting Botox and ter thermal filler removing tattoos, performing laser hair removal, chemical peels, cool sculpting. These are dependent on the state regulations, supervision and appropriate certification, manage pre and post operative care for patients who are receiving treatment, assisting during procedures and surgeries, screening of patients to ensure safety prior to treatment. A study nurse should have confidence in performing procedures, autonomous, autonomously enjoy cosmetics, be meticulous, worker and deliver personal care now i know and i've seen also on instagram people are just opening up businesses becoming as uh, aesthetic nurse and have their own clinic and they are really doing well and marketing themselves very well this is something that i've seen as a trend and i think you should try it out so how much does it pay to be whatever i just said a care manager is making about, on average, $11.99 a week. $11.99 a week. A public health nurse is making about up to $106,000 a year. A research nurse is making about, about $150,000 a year. Forensic nurse is making about $123,000 thousand dollars a year on average an aesthetic nurse is making about a hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year let me know if any of this money game that you are actually interested in acquiring and having it if you don't earn this much now and you want to switch it because of the money try it out first see if you like it and then really move on some like to move up the ladder to get to it but i do recommend for you to join my membership program in order for me to teach you how you can skip that ladder of career and then jump into a high level career with where you can get the high paying salary. To join my membership, it's in the description. I would love to see you there. Thanks for watching this video. I would love to invite you to be part of my community where you are a member as a candidate chat room. Upon joining, you will receive tons of information. You will receive templates, ebooks, products, tips, advice, strategies, and weekly emails where you can actually ace your interview, build your career from ground up, 
and get promoted as needed. You can also ask any questions that you want and I will be able to answer to my members first and then to my YouTube community. The link to join is in the description. I'm going to see you in the candidate chatroom forum.